Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker. And for today's lesson, we're going to do some Eureka Math. Now, a lot of you, um, whether you're a parent or a student, you know, you utilize the Eureka Math curriculum. Your children may use it. You know, you may have nieces and nephews or grandchildren that may use it. You know, please excuse the dirt bikes, the dirt bike noise. Um, but anyway, I want you to understand the Eureka Math curriculum. All right, so we're going to do a lesson, right? From Eureka Math, grade five, all right? So this is for the fifth graders out there and the, the parents of fifth graders, the grandparents of fifth graders, the uncles and aunts of fifth graders, all right? Or well, if you're working in an after-school program trying to help somebody with their homework and you got fifth graders in your after-school program or your OST program, this is for y'all too, right? This is from module one, lesson one, all right? Now, um, before I even get into this, Shout out to Nat Turner, to the ancestor Nat Turner. This is Black August. It's August while I record this video. Um, of course, Nat Turner's slave rebellion took place on August 21st, 1831. And actually many years later, August 21st was when George Jackson, a uh, Black Panther Party member, was assassinated in prison, you know, in California. So those are two people you definitely should do your research on if you're not very familiar with them, Nat Turner and George Jackson. All right. That's why I got this t-shirt on, because it's Black August right now as I record this video. All right. So, getting back to this. Eureka is different, right? And I understand why there's a lot of frustration from parents that have children that use the Eureka curriculum. Because Eureka and the people that have developed that curriculum, they have some different methods of teaching math that we learned differently 30 years ago, 40 years ago, 20 years ago. All right? Different is not always a bad thing. I actually believe in the diversity of methods of math. The diversity of methods. That's what I believe in. All right? But what happens is the way Eureka gets down is they come through and tell you that the way you did it before is wrong. Or essentially they imply that the way you did it before is not as good as the way they're trying to teach it. Case in point. They want you to multiply 4.215 times 10, right? Now, back in my day, my teachers taught me the shortcut that whenever you're multiplying by 10 or a base of 10 or like 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, whatever, all you got to do is move decimal points, right? If you're doing multiplication, you move the decimal point to the right. If you're doing division, the number gets smaller. So you move the decimal point to the left, right? Eureka has a different approach. What Eureka does is they say that the decimal point should remain standard and stationary, rather, right? And this right here, in case you're wondering what this is, this is what they call a place value chart, all right? It's a place value chart, all right? The way they approach this type of problem is different from the way many of us learned it many years ago, but it's not really, it's not difficult, though. It's different, but it's not difficult. So I'm going to show you how they want you to do it, all right? So according to their curriculum, the first thing you'll do is you'll take this factor, right? 4.215, and you'll write it, all right? So this, this right here is your decimal point. So that means that this represents the tenths place. This is the hundredths place. This is the thousandths place. This will be the ten thousandths place. That's to the right of the decimal point. Now, to the left of the decimal point, this is the ones place. This is the tens place. This is the hundredths place. This is the thousandths place, right? So they want you to write the number in, not at this top row, but in this middle row right here, right? And put everything in its proper place, all right? So the four is in the ones place. So the four is going to go, matter of fact, let me switch the color up. The four is going to go in the ones place, which is right here. And then the two is going to go in the tenths place, which is right here. The one is going to go in the hundredths place. Make sure you put that TH on the end of hundred, because it's the hundredths place, Right? The five is going to go in the thousandths place, which is right here. So we got 4.215. Now, there are two things you got to take into consideration when you're doing problems like this using the place value chart. What direction should the numbers move and how many spaces should they move? Those are the two critical questions. What direction should the numbers move and how many spaces should they move? Do the numbers move to the left or to the right? And how many spaces do the numbers move? Do they move one space, two spaces, three spaces, four spaces, whatever? Those are the two questions you got to memorize. All right. 
as a parent trying to help your child with this, you got to memorize those two questions. As a child looking at this, you got to memorize those two questions. All right. Now, whenever you're doing multiplication, and you should write this down, whenever you're doing multiplication, the numbers are going to move to the left. The numbers are going to move to the left. Now, I know that gets that's where it gets a little confusing because back in the day, we would move the decimal point to the right. But understand, you're going to end up with the same result. Moving the decimal point to the right or moving the numbers to the left yields the same result, right? It yields the same result. You know what I mean? So check this out. We're multiplying. Whenever you multiply, you move the decimal point, right? You move the decimal point to the right. Decimal point to the right. So let me write that down. Multiply. Decimal point to the right. Actually, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant to say. See, old habits die hard. This isn't even about the decimal point. This is about the numbers. Numbers, I know y'all think this is a hashtag, right? But that's the old school symbol for a number, right? The pound sign from the telephone, all right? The numbers move to the left. Numbers move to the left when you multiply, all right? Now, how many spaces? This is how you know how many spaces to move. How many zeros are in this number? This is a 10. 10 has one zero. So therefore, you're going to move the numbers, every digit, 4, 2, 1, and 5, one space to the left. So this is how they want you to do it, right? And I've been, I've been studying these like Eureka workbooks, right? That's how they want you to do it. So instead of going straight down, you go one space to the left. So you're going to go like that. Boom. They draw, they draw the arrows, right? So draw the arrows. Like that. Like that. Like that. And you're going to end up with this. Let me switch the color. The four comes down here. So write a four right there. The two comes down here. So write a two right there. The one comes down here. So write a one right there. The five comes down here. So write a five right there. So now, and then here's what my decimal points going to go. Now we got 42.15 or 42 and 15 hundredths. 42.15 or you could say 42 and 15 hundredths. All right. And that's the answer. That's the answer. Using a place value chart, right? This is called a place value chart. And there are two questions you have to ask yourself. Which direction do you move the, the numbers? Because using Eureka, Eureka wants you to move digits. They don't want you to move the decimal point. So it's like, okay, you won't got to fight about that. You know, if you don't want me to move, move the decimal point, cool. I'll leave the decimal point where it is. See, it was up there in the beginning. It's still, up, it's still down there, you know, afterwards. Matter of fact, let me do this. This is what I should have did. I should have put the, the red decimal point right there. Right? So it went from being... 4.215 to being 42.15, right? And see how the decimal point stayed stationary. The decimal point ain't moved. So Eureka does not want you to move the decimal point. Eureka don't want you to move the decimal point, right? So the Eureka wants you to only move the digits in the number. If you multiply, whenever you multiply, the numbers move to the left. If you divide, the numbers move to the right. Next question is, how many spaces should they move? In this particular problem, each digit moved one space because we got one zero. If we had been multiplying by 100, the number 100 got two zeros in it. So we would move two spaces instead of one space. If we had multiplied by 1,000, 1,000 got three zeros in it. So that means we would move each digit three spaces. So you move the same number of spaces as you have zeros in the factor that you're multiplying by. Now, this only applies if you multiply by factors of, or multiples of 10, 10. A hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, hundred million, all that. You know, one tenth, one hundredth, one thousandth, one ten thousandth, one hundred thousandth, and so on and so forth, right? We can use the place value chart. And I guess the place value chart is cool because it allows a student to like visualize what's happening, right? Now, even though, like I said, in my day, and probably a lot of y'all that are watching this, y'all would have just kept the 4.215. And then y'all would have just slid the decimal point over one space 
and made it 42.15. You still get the same answer. You still get the same answer. But I guess it's cool for your children to have different methods of doing problems, you know? So that way that, that can increase their math fluency and it can increase their math confidence. But just understand that um, there are more than one way, there's more than one way to solve a problem or answer a question, all right? And if Eureka is asking for you to do it this way, cool, let's just do it this way, all right? So again, shout out to Nat Turner, rest in peace. Also shout out to George Jackson, rest in peace. Um, respect the Black August. And get some practice with doing this multiplication using the place value chart. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.